action, nothing was ever going to be the same. Danger. If I slip up or if I turn my eye for just one second, someone could get the drop on me. Adventure. The Amazon River, they have a version of everything in North America except bigger and scarier. You're listening to Sea Story. Bonus episode, Fishies. My name is Bet Bolivar. I call home Hawaii. I am a rear admiral in the United States Navy, and this is my sea story. I'm a water baby, born in Hawaii. Diving and being underwater is just one of those things that I feel comfortable in. It's a whole different world. It's a very peaceful place to be. My sister likes to to dive and look at fishies, you know, and, and, and do recreation diving. And, and that's, that's cool for me too, but I actually, when I go in, I like to be doing something. Navy divers do a, a variety of missions. To plan out a dive mission it takes a whole lot of teamwork, homework, and, and all of that. Even before you splash, the dive supervisor gives you a, a safety brief or a dive brief to do checks on you, make sure your gear is correct, to make sure that uh, you know you have the right amount of air, and then briefs the mission on a board so everybody understands what we're supposed to do when we get to the bottom. So we were on deployment. The plane falls out of the sky. We were out on a, a dive mission to recover an aircraft. We were off the coast of a country out in the uh, Western Pacific, and I was designated as the green diver, which is normally the number two diver, and then red diver is basically the lead diver. And then we have a standby diver, which is the yellow diver. My dive buddy was a young diver who was fresh out of dive school and we were hard hat diving to go get this aircraft. In this particular mission, you have a stage and the divers walk to the stage and then the stage is then lowered into the water. And there was a aircraft that had been there a while. So it was our mission to go down there and do the assessment. So, Brand new diver as red diver, and I'm green diver, and down we go to assess the situation. And when we went down to the bottom there, my young brand new diver uh, basically threw up in his helmet <laughs> and required assistance, at which point in time we had to tell Topside, which is the dive station on deck, who is uh, basically supervising our dive, that Topside this is Green Diver, Red Diver, you know, threw up in his helmet. Do you require assistance? No, no, topside we don't. And basically, I helped the young diver purge his helmet. And then we couldn't finish the dive because they wanted us to abort that dive so we can unhat Red Diver to make sure he was okay. So when we came up, you know, everybody could hear the comms on, on the dive side. And basically, I told Topside, Topside, this is Green Diver. Be careful when you unhat him. Sure enough, the name of that poor young diver ended up going on uh, what we called the Wall of Shame. That was a, quite an experience as a diver to console your dive buddy and to make sure that he knew that things happen. It's not like you see stuff like that every day at the bottom of the ocean. So it was all good. And, and within our dive locker, we, you know, we helped this young diver along. If you want to hear more stories like mine, subscribe to Sea Story today. Sea Story is brought to you by America's Navy. Learn more at Navy.com.